Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and welcome to Simple Biology. Today we're going to be looking at hybrid zones. A hybrid zone is a region where two distinct populations or species found in close proximity to each other reproduce and uh, start to form this mixed ancestry. So we have a diagram here, there would be population X, population Y, um, and they're very close to each other and they start reproducing and they create this interesting zone called a hybrid zone. And they tend to form when two species lack reproductive barriers and they come in contact with each other. Now, remember, these are two different species. It's not like one chimpanzee mating with another chimpanzee in another population. It's two separate species with, which have gen different gen genetic material. The hybrid zone itself can be any length or width. And the interesting thing with the hybrid zones is that a species frequency, allele frequency, decreases as they get closer to the hybrid zone. So if you look here, let's say this was a red, in population X, it would be, let's say, a red frog. And then here, or let's just go with the colors here. So here you have a yellow frog, and then we have an orange frog. Frog. So what happens actually is that as you go closer and closer to the hybrid zone, the the frequency of that uh, color or that allele will steadily come down. Okay, from here, from here to here. Okay, it won't be like this. It won't be like yellow in this suddenly red and then suddenly orange. It'll it'll be like a gradual decrease in color. And the reason for that is because usually these hybrids are not viable. They don't exist as well as the other two populations. So instead of creating a hybrid zone and repopulating and creating these three distinct species with yellow, red, and orange, you're going to see that steady flow from yellow to maybe a yellowish red to red to a reddish orange to orange. Now, when we talk about hybrid zones, there's three things that can happen whenever a hybrid zone is formed. Reinforcement of barriers, fusion of species, and stability. So let's go ahead and focus on reinforcement of barriers first. So reinforcement is when you when there's a strengthening of reproductive barriers. So that means let's say you have again back to this example here, the yellow and the orange animals coming together to create the hybrid zone. Reinforcement would mean that eventually with time the hybrid zone would cease to exist and these reproductive barriers will come back and this hybrid zone will just kind of disappear. And it occurs usually when a hybrid is weaker than its parent species. Okay, so when the it's usually better, this happens whenever natural selection is going to select the parent species over the hybrid species. So because of that, the hybrid species are not going to be able to exist. Natural selection is going to take over and just separate the parent species again. And hybrid species will just be left out. And this type of reinforcement, this typically happens in sympatric populations rather than allopatric um, populations. So sympatric populations, remember those are species, uh, populations which are separated not by location, by something else. And allopatric populations are the ones that are separated by location. So this is more likely to happen in sympatric populations. The second type thing that can happen to hybrid, spe hybrid zones is fusion species. So this happens when you see a weakening of reproductive barriers and occurs when the gene pools of two different species become increasingly alike. So what happens is like the two species here that we saw here will start to fuse together just to create one species and the hybrid will uh, become the only species that exists. You can kind of think of it as reverse speciation. You have, you're starting to combine species together. And this typically happens when the hybrid species is better suited for the environment than the parent species. So then natural selection is going to select for the hybrid species and they're going to start to reproduce and kill off the parent species. Now, the last type of, last thing that could possibly happen is stability. Stability is the constant stable formation of hybrids. It occurs when the hybrid survives and reproduces better than their parent species. Just the same, it's, it's like a less, a less extreme version of this. Fusion of species means the hybrids completely um, take out the parent species, but stability is when you all three species can kind of like survive on their own so you, then you'll just see this constant hybrid being formed in the middle and then you have the two parent species also surviving and now you have three um, species now darwin asked two basic questions when he, he talked about speciation the first is how long does it take for a species a new species to form and how many genes change when a spe single species splits into two species 
So Dar in order to find out this information, Darwin gathered two pieces of evidence to measure the speciation over time, uh, the pattern of fossil records and data showing the intervals between speci speciation events of a particular group of organisms. Scientists have observed inside of fossils, species inside of fossils that stayed for millions of years without millions of years without change and then soon disappeared. So like the species just remained constant millions of years and suddenly they just disappeared. And then they came up with the theory of a punctuated equilibria, which basically says that when a species undergoes, it's basically when a species undergoes little to no morphological change in the layers of fossils, it can result in extinction over time, and it shows how rapid speciation occurs. So basically it's like you have this equilibrium, this, this long period of time of one species, and then you suddenly, suddenly very quickly have speciation event or an extinction event. And it's not like species are slowly um, created over time, it's more of just having these short speciation events, which are very distinct from just morphological change. Okay, now let's review how the speciation process occurs. We talked about this in depth on the previous video, but this is just a review, a recap. Speciation starts after gene flow between populations is interrupted. You have no idea what gene flow is, you need to go out um, and check out previous videos. Gene flow, so this basically means that there is no more flow of genes between two populations. You suddenly see this cutoff of gene flow. And speciation can be interrupted by uh, environmental changes or natural events like storms, hurricanes, and floods. So once a gene flow is interrupted, uh, populations start to become reproductively isolated, and that's how new species are formed. Now, to answer Darwin's second question, which was how many genes need to be changed in order to a single species to be changed into two different species, it actually depends. Sometimes speciation can be affected by a single gene, you know, just one gene changes and you have a different species. A few amount of genes can be uh, form a reproductive barrier. If an organism has too much or less genes, it can influence the evol evolution of reproductive isolation. So, you know, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's just one gene, sometimes it's many, many genes have to change in order for the speci new species to be created. It all just depends on um, what those genes are. And then, of course, reproductive isolation can result in the emergence of a new species, which we already understand. But that's it for now. Hybrid zones are as simple as that.